So it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I woke up a little afternoon. We can get the two-day airing yesterday. Um, some chance that might happen today. But I probably would have had to get more sleep than that. So um, this is the day of July 3rd. Um, I, I managed to get um, a full listen uh, of the second demo in um, through the newer phones, which are actually still in my ears. I'm just taking them off right now. Um, have a bit of a, a muting effect, like a, an earmuff effect um, when I'm talking. Um, and the um, added depth in the phones, actually, again, this... Um, it has an unintended uh, benefit. There's some drawbacks to it. Um, there are certain points that are a little bit too saturated, but overall, I think it's a net benefit, right? Um, I need to I need to reiterate. I pointed this out many times that the best way to listen to my music is on a flat, like like a flat signal, and you know, shape it how you want. If you want more bass, do it. But um, I mix the music to listen to flat. Um, and you should get enough bass and enough highs flat. Um, so when you introduce anything that's going to um, uh, exaggerate one side of, like, exaggerate anything at all, um, like the th it, it gets thrown out of balance, right? Like I mix it to be bassy on flat phones, so when you put it through bassy phones, it gets blurry. Um, <coughs> I mean, it. I, I, I could mix it for bassy phones. Um, but I don't really want to do that, right? It's just flat is the, flat is the most um, versatile um, and, and the most neutral way to um, present it, right? I mean, when you're, when you're doing... Um, uh, recorded audio like this, the mix, is a big part of the presentation, right? So I kind of resent the idea of somebody, you know, saying, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a piece of audio equipment that's biased a specific way all of the time. It destroys the composer's choices, right? I mean, I know what the market is, and I know what, more importantly, I know what equipment exists on the market. When you say you know what the market is, that means you know you, you know what people are buying. That's not really it, it's more you know what equipment is available. I mean, you know, the pe people get headphones for Christmas, or you know they get them on impulse sales. Like the amount of people that like do research to buy headphones is pretty minimal, right? Um, So, I mean, they, they, you have to be aware of what it is that's being sold, right? Whether there's a market for it or not, it's what's being sold. Um, because that's what people are going to hear it on, right? They're going to hear it on the equipment that they're sold. But I can't do that, you know? <laughs> I, 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 I'd, I'd be destroying um, the end result, um, the permanence of the end result, because then... You know, at a certain point in the future, when that gear is no longer contemporary and it's changed to you know treble heavy phones, um, it's going to sound terrible, right? So if I maintain it flat and I do, you know, I, I do the the hewing work on a flat signal. Um, There's that higher level of permanence to it that, okay, you always know how to approach it, right? But that doesn't mean that... I mean, like, like I say, most of the time it's going to be blurry. By, if I mix it for a high bass, it's going to be, be, be blurry, right? When, when you turn it up too high. Um, I think it's partly... With these two demos, particularly because I didn't really have a lot of control over the mix, right? Um, I was remastering from like broken MP3 files, um, and, and and the deeper phones do um, uh, give it a, a, a level of depth. Um, that's not there on the flat phones. Um, 
and that's that's just it's just it's, it's just the technology, right? But um, it's worth taking note of. Otherwise, I'm happy with the way it sounds. Um, and, uh, I still have some more listening to do with this, but um, I am awake. I am listening. Um, I, I expect to get through this uh, by the end of the day, I guess. 9 o'clock at night. We're getting close to it. And I have finished listening to um, the demos, all of them, through. Um, the new phones, which again, I'm taking off my ears, um, due to the, um, uh, muffled effect. I'm trying to finish a lot of from here. Um, through the new phones and the MP3 player, and it, um, it has all the defects I was expecting. Um, but, um, it, it's just, uh, getting my ears, um, readjusted to it, um. No, no, no surprises. Um, uh, unexpected afternoon of listening, and that's fine. Um, I have closed um, and recycled. I'm not going to say anything about it that I didn't say the other day. Uh, in fact, my update on the vlog is the post I made the other day. So um, I was saying I'd have something different to say now, but I don't really. Um, I think I'll just keep it at that. Um, I am going to do a little bit more listening. Um, I still haven't uh, listened to and recycled through the official system, and I want to do a bunch of listening um, on the laptop first. So, a um, bunch more listening for the night, and uh, well, if it goes according to plan, I should actually um, start switching over to Inri uh, three. Um, that's Inri sampled. Um, I don't know, around midnight? Early in the morning, anyways, before I go to the appointment, anyway. I'm late again, but what else is new? I'm always late, aren't I? Um, I haven't slept, um, so this is an all-nighter. Um, I went to the doctors to get, um, some results for my hearing test. I am late. Um, I should be there right now. So I couldn't be much later. Um, I'm expecting no exciting results, <laughs> but um, I gotta go for a walk. Anyway, it's about a half an hour walk. Um, it seems a little chilly, maybe not so bad. Um, yeah, it's uh, looking uh, looking casual. <laughs> All right, going for a walk. A little bit of indication. I don't want to be too right about this. Although I suppose um, being right about my ear is uh, better than some of the other uh, options, right? Um, I do have a little bit of hearing loss um, in the side that's bothering me. Um, and she's suggesting that one of the possible causes for the type of hearing loss I'm experiencing, excuse me, on that side might be um, that my jaw is um, fucked. So that that was fucked face syndrome, um, where that side of the face is just so fucked that everything is all fucked. Um, I, that that's still in the running um, as a possibility here. Um, so let's say I fell off my bike ten years ago, and I, and I did fall off my bike ten years ago. I got stitches. It was nasty, um, and I landed right on my jaw, which I did, um, and it just never healed right. And because of that, my ear canal is rubbing up against a bone and it's driving my ears nuts uh, and all the other crazy things that are going on, right? Um, what that would be, what that, what that would suggest would be that um, the twitch and the hearing is a symptom. And the cause is skeletal, right? So she can do the MRI on that and, and at least kind of um, steer me on the right path um, for that. If it comes back and my skeleton looks okay, but then 
I need to go on to something else. <clears throat> if it comes back and my skeleton is indeed fucked, as she seemed to agree may be possible, then I would um, need to go to the, you know, the to the bone specialist, the orth orthopedician, orthopedic. Though I'm not again, I'm not, I'm not going to for my feet. Um, the bone dude. I have to go see the bone dude to uh, to fix my bones. Um, I'll hear back on uh, when I need to go in for an MRI. So this is uh, they're keeping me here. Um, it's gonna have to happen anyways, right? So it's like. I get an MRI here, I get an MRI there. MRI here, MRI there, MRI everywhere. I'm tired, I think that's obvious, huh? Okay. This goes away now, and uh... I thought she picked something up on my eardrum and she did. Um, and it seems like it's consistent with a with a fucked up draw. So logic is actually working out here. Or the everything that I thought made sense is happening. So uh, hurry for logic. Like I say, this is better than better than MS. As annoying as it may be for a little bit. Um, what, what can they do? They can take something out of there if it's a tumor. Um, they can beat the shit out of me and put me in uh, braces so I heal right this time if it's a... Uh, if it's a bent jaw. Um, or they can tell me that uh, it's something else, right? We'll find it. Um, I, I, I can't imagine I'm gonna do much else for the rest of the day. So. Keep that in mind. <laughs>